For generations of Brisbane music lovers, Festival Hall and Cloudland hold special memories having played host to some of the world's biggest acts. They're now long gone, but a new generation of venues is filling the void they left. Max Futcher reports. <laughs> The Beatles played the final date of their only Australian tour in 1964. It made Festival Hall hallowed ground. Opened five years earlier, it was primarily a boxing venue, but with 4,000 seats, it was Brisbane's only real option for big acts. In the days before internet bookings, fans would line around the block for tickets, whether for the Bay City Rollers or camping out overnight for Alice Cooper. So when I arrived, it was it was halfway back to George Street, and um, by by four o'clock it was it was round the corner. And they were down this side here as well. Festival Hall would be the mainstay of the local scene for decades. Everyone played there, from Led Zeppelin and Bob Dylan to U2, Nirvana, and hometown heroes Powderfinger. You feel instantly like you're playing in a special place, and also being a Brisbane band, it was always great to play sort of the big show in Brisbane. There was no bigger show really in Brisbane at the time. It would close in 2003. In its place, Festival Towers. It was an echo of the fate suffered by that other iconic music venue, Cloudland, allowed to fall into a state of disrepair in November 1982 in the dead of night. The heavy metal rocked in. In less than two hours, Cloudland was gone and Brisbane woke up to find the familiar dome on the hill, a pile of rubble. On the Gold Coast, the playroom at Talabudra was rock and roll central for more than 30 years. I remember as a kid and as a teenager watching the likes of Flowers, who then became Ice House, Radiators, My Sex, Cold Chisel, Thin Lizzy, Boomtown Rats. It would close in 1998 to make way for a car park. The South East has never been short of venues for the world's biggest acts, whether it be QE2 Stadium, the Boondall Entertainment Centre, or, of course, some called Stadium. But the South East would suffer a festival hall-sized hole in the market for more than a decade. That would change in 2014 with the opening of the Triffid at Newstead. And then the spiritual heir to Festival Hall, the Fortitude Music Hall, in 2019, just six months before COVID hit. It was a near-fatal blow, one from which co-owner JC Collins says the local scene is still emerging. It might take another year to fully recover, in my opinion.